we're going to differentiate between the DAS and the anaconda choke, which is still a head arm choke. So the person has somehow rolled to head down or I've done a snap down into a guillotine. And then we've got this position where I can do several things. So if I'm with Lane, so Lane drops down. I've gone like that. Now from here, I could just do a guillotine or an upside down sleeper. But we've seen before that if you go under the arm and up there, that is the dust choke. If I go next to the ear, then up and under there, that is the guillotine. Arm, up, das, arm, up, guillotine. Okay? Oh, sorry, anaconda. Then, all I'll do is roll, cool, go to the side, and quite often I can finish it from there, especially if his head's tucked like that. It's a horrible position. Or I'll just, you know, move around, move towards him that way. There's one extra that we did. So if Lane's down this way, I go here, Lane's massive frame, I can't get my hand all the way through. So all I do is karate chop at the back, grab there. This is called a gable grip. So all I go is up there, grab, I'm next to him. Then I forcibly, slowly, forcibly make him do the forward roll, and then I can go into the dance. So, Arm up, it's still a head arm triangle, whether I go that way or that way, it's still a head arm triangle. If I go next to his ear and up under his armpit, that's an anaconda. If I go under his armpit and next to his ear, it's the das. If I haven't got enough, I just go like that, karate chop, and roll his head forward.